This movie is an introduction on how to use the MQTT protocol with Proteus IoT Builder. First, create a simple Arduino Visual Designer project. You'll also need to install the Mosquito MQTT broker onto your computer. A detailed installation guide can be found in the IoT Builder help file. In order to communicate remotely, we'll need to add the ESP8266 Wi-Fi peripheral to our project. When we do so, the Visual Designer project tree gains some additional categories. Many of these are disabled by default to save program memory space, but here we need to enable the MQTT peripheral. If we then double click on the peripheral, we can set the design time properties which include the location of the MQTT broker. Since we've installed the broker on our PC, the default values are fine. Now let's look at how we publish a message to the broker from the Arduino appliance. We first expand the MQTT peripheral to gain access to the built-in method calls and then simply drag and drop onto the flowchart. We need to start by making a connection to the broker. Next, we use the publish method to send a message to the MQTT topic and tell the broker to retain the message. We then finish up by disconnecting from the broker. That's all we need to do. To test this, we need to start the broker we installed on the PC running. This is best done by running a command prompt navigating to the Mosquito directory and starting the broker program. Now we can press play on our simulation and monitor the broker log to see our published message arriving. We also use a second command prompt to subscribe to the topic and the broker will deliver the message to us. If we stop the simulation and move our program into the loop routine, we'll see that published messages are automatically delivered to the subscribed clients. We need to add a suitable delay at the bottom of the loop and then run the simulation again. Now that we've seen how to publish messages from the Arduino, let's look at how to subscribe to messages. Let's assume we're going to receive a command to either turn the onboard LED on or off. We start our program in the same way by establishing a connection in the setup routine. Next, drag out the onConnect event handler. This routine will be called each time a connection is made, and is in here that we want to subscribe to any topics of interest. Next, we drag out the onMessage event handler. This routine gets called each time we receive a message from the broker. Our first job in here, therefore, is to check which topic the incoming message is from. We can do this quickly by dragging a special decision box straight from the MQTT peripheral itself and then testing against our topic name. We need to then read the incoming message into one of the program variables. In our simple example, we need only a single variable from the LED state. Once we have the data in our variable, we can set the state of the LED directly via the method on the CPU peripheral. Run the simulation to start testing. Our broker command prompt should still be running, so we'll see both the connection being made and the topic subscription by the Arduino client. We can then use our second command prompt to publish the message to turn our LED on or off. 